Hello, welcome to our flipped classroom video. Tonight we're going to review what the equal sign means and we're going to talk about the equal sign in a subtraction number sentence. If you remember, the equal means the same as. In this problem, we can see that 12 is the same as 4 plus 8. I could also say that 4 plus 1 is the same as 1 plus 4. We did practice these before with addition sentences. Let's try some more practice using the symbols unequal and equal. Unequal means not the same. Equal means the same. Let's look at these two pictures. I'm going to count how many snowmen are on each side and decide if they're equal or unequal. I count one, two, three snowmen on one side and I count one, two, three snowmen on the other side. Three snowmen is the same as three snowmen, so they're equal. Equal means the same. Let's try another one. Here I count one snowman, and on the other side I count one, two, three snowmen. I know that one is not the same as three, so they're unequal. Now let's try some using subtraction. On this side, I have six minus three. I have six snowmen. One, two, three, four, five, six. The minus tells me I need to take away three snowmen. One, two, three. After I take away three snowmen, I'm left with one, two, three snowmen. Now I have three snowmen on one side, and if I go to the other side, I have one, two, three snowmen. That means that six minus three and the number three are the same. So I can put an equal sign. Six minus three equals three. Let's try another one. On this side, I have three minus two. I'm starting with three snowmen. One, two, three. And I need to take away two of them. One, two. When I take away two snowmen, I'm left with one. Let's look at the other side. On the other side, I have five snowmen. One, two, three, four, five. I have five snowmen. Now I need to take away three of them. Minus three. One, two, three. If I start with five snowmen and I take away three snowmen, I'm left with two snowmen. Hmm, do you think they're equal or unequal? On this side, when I did three minus two, I was left with one. And on this side, when I did five minus three, I was left with two. That means that they're unequal. One is not the same as two. When I was solving the problems before, I was using pictures to help me. I could also use a number line to help me. This time I need to decide if 10 minus 8 is equal or unequal to the number 2. I'm going to use my number line to help me with this one. To use my number line, I'm going to do 10 minus 8 first. When I do 10 minus 8, I'm going to start with my whole 10 on my number line. And I'm going to do 8 hops back. Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I landed at the number 2. 
So if I have 10 and I take away 8, I have 2. 2 is the same as 2. That means they're equal. 8 minus 10 equals 2. Here's another problem. This time I have two subtraction number sentences on either side. I need to know if these two subtraction number sentences are equal or unequal. Are they the same or are they different? Let's use a number line to help us. So first I need to do 7 minus 4. I'm going to start at 7 on my number line and I'm going to count back 4. Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4. 7 minus 4 equals 3. Okay, let's try 10 minus 7 and see what we get. I'm going to start at 10 and I'm going to hop back 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I got 3 again. When I did 7 minus 4, I got 3. And when I did 10 minus 7, I got 3. That must mean that the problems are equal. 7 minus 4 equals 10 minus 7. Now you try one. On your homework sheet, you need to indicate if the problem is equal or unequal. So we have 3 minus 1. I need to know if that is equal or unequal to 5 minus 1. I have a number line down here to help you. With your finger, let's do 3 minus 1. Start at the 3 and do one hop back. Think about where you landed. Now, let's do 5 minus 1. Put your finger on 5 on the number line and hop back one spot. Is 3 minus 1 equal or unequal to 5 minus 1? On your homework sheet, write the equal or unequal symbol. Thank you for watching and have a great night.